What's up, Internet? I'm Claris Polaris, and we're back. I know, sorry, we had a little bit of break. We were away, and then I got sick, and then blah, 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 blah. But this is Cowboy Bebop, episode five. We're continuing on with it. We're going on. It's fun. It's a vibe. I'm into it. You guys all love it, so we're here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just jump into it. If you want the full-length reaction, make sure you go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly. That'll get you the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're not wasting time. Let's just jump into it. Oh. Just a casual contract with your, you know, your blood fingerprint. Don't worry, the food won't be poisoned. No more betrayals. <laughs> I'm glad you, you said that. Hey, don't worry, it's not poisoned. Doesn't really do anything for my suspicions. Take a little breather. I explode. <laughs> if Spike were here, you would never have done this. What? Not gonna lie, hate that bird. Don't know anything about that bird? I hate it. Who's this guy? New hit? Ask before you look. <laughs> it's sitting right there. Lighten up. Yeah, it's not like it's hidden. The computer screen that's in the middle of the room. Don't look at it unless you ask. <laughs> Whoa, that's who you guys are after? Oh. What? You have a fight? Can it? You're being obnoxious. That's why I love her. <laughs> Damn! She cleans up good! What makes them all- Hmm? Huh? Hmm? You worried? Relax. You haven't- No, the, the, the dog is like, I can do it. Damn. Beautiful theater. I would go. Oh my god. Wow. They don't make them like that anymore. We request that you remain quiet during the performance. That dress is so cool. Also, is that guy with the silver hair the same guy from the opening? He wasn't like smirking enough, but that's okay. Back. <laughs> oh, she was watching. You're trembling. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, there he is. Vicious. Is that your name? Or a description, um, not 100% sure. Vicious is kind of like really on the nose. I mean, I, I would think, but. Is that gun in the fridge? Where's the girl? When she saw the bounty figure, she had a lapse of sanity. <laughs> you mean you're really going to come for me? Well, it's possible. I've got my reasons, so don't take it personal. Spike! I just realized if you got, like, a prosthetic metal arm, you'd have to make sure you worked out the other side to be the exact same size at all times. Otherwise, you'd have, like... it. Well, he made his arm, like, super muscly. He would have, like, this, like, jacked arm. And then this one that's just kind of, like, whatever if you didn't keep it up. I want that character design. I want a character who's got just like this like jacked arm. And then the other one's like, they were like, ah, yeah, it's too much effort. It's too much work. This is not ominous at all. If the circling birds didn't give it away, well, this is creepy, shadowy, broken, dirty, Chambers. <laughs> What's wrong if you don't comply? Uh. 
I wouldn't have dropped it either. This guy does not seem like a trustworthy dude. <laughs> Be careful! They really, really, really like to animate her boobs jiggling. Someone took great pride in that. Huh? Oh, I'm butchering it. Hello? Oh, God! Jet! It's Spike! It's, ah! it's fine, he's just shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. I've bled all that kind of blood away. Then why are you still alive? <laughs> uh, uh. Man, they talk about your life flashing before your eyes. I guess this is what they meant. dead like that he he was shot and then he was stabbed and then he fell how is he alive you finally up huh you slept too much you've been asleep three days <laughs> you nearly died you slept too much you sing off key <laughs> Wow, your first words when you wake up after three days are you sing off key. That's uh, a choice. Um, okay, so I know we talked about this show before being like very episodic. I was like, oh, it's just kind of like about the world, whatever. Obviously, I think um, we're kind of getting into the overarching plot for this show. Um, I am assuming. Like, I don't think Vicious is dead. I feel like... That would be too easy. Um, although I don't know how any of them survived that, to be honest. But hey, it doesn't matter. It's anime. People survive things all the time that would um, kill a person. <laughs> so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. I, I, I feel like I got like a like a kind of little peek at um, more of like the character of Spike without um, without being told too much. Right? Like, I don't know exactly what his relationship is to Vicious, but I feel like I have a sense, enough of a sense of it to try and uh, make guesses. Obviously, they work together. Uh, Spike took him under his wing in some capacity. Um, there was, like, a flash thing that where, like, it looked like Vicious was, like, sitting up shirtless and, like, Spike was, like, laying next to him. So, like, I question mark maybe I maybe I saw that well actually probably go back and look if I wanted but I was like this uh this is uh this is a little bit kinky um this one wait well you know what actually that it is very difficult to tell who that is that could that that could be any I mean that looks like vicious and the person lying down could literally be anyone um Literally anyone that has long-ish hair. <laughs> so, I, uh, I, I I do love that. Um, very nonspecific. But that's kind of what's fun about it. Uh, like I said, it um, gave enough without giving away too much. Kind of setting up um, some interesting people and relationships for the rest of the season, which I think is really cool. Uh, as always, like, the voice work is spectacular. The music of this show, I think, is one of its strongest suits. Um, uh, the intro was always fantastic. Um, and I, I don't think I've said this through the other episodes, but um, the music has been consistently fantastic throughout the whole show so far. Um, but this episode especially, it really stood out to me. Um, the falling moment, um, how long it took, the like drawn outness of that uh, was really cool. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see uh, what the consequences for this episode are. Because it seemed like the guy at the very beginning... They, like, made a deal. He's, like, a crime boss who made a deal with another crime boss to try and, like, maybe not be so 
like violent towards each other. You know, they figured out a deal. Maybe I guess they didn't like killing one another anymore. And Vicious came in and was like, no, for some reason. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I guess, uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like it. There's a button for that. Um, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss another one. Uh, you can follow me around the internet at Claris Polaris. Again, the full extended version is on patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. And as always, do something nerdy tonight, guys. Bye.